Hello friend, welcome to Rossi Innovation. My name is Shiva. Today we are going to discuss about IBM MQ9 prerequisitions and installations. Uh, here we, I am using IBM MQ9 trial version. Uh, now we will see the what are the prerequisitions why we required. I just make a note of uh, here and just erasing. I will uh, go from starting. IBM MQ9 supports which operating system? MQ9 will support only Linux 7 operating system. Make sure that second one. How 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 you will check? Uh, we will see that one also. Okay, and also we required user. MQM user and MQM group should be created. Third point file system file systems slash var MQM and slash opt MQM. This folder should be created. One second, I just opened it, but I have not used the username and password. We will use it, no problem. Okay. And fourth point this folder should be created. Fourth point is MQ software dump need to copy. MQ software dump need to copy in. Server. We will use temp uh, location, temp directory, tmp. Fifth point is its motion should. We should use root user to install mq9. We should use, we should not use any other uh, username, we should use. Uh, uh, root user to install it. Uh, we will go one by one. What are the prerequisitions we, we, we required? IBM MQ 9 Linux 7 operating system will use. How we will check? Uh, what are the OS you are using? Uh, before that, I am just logging in and restarting this session. Yeah, username root. I am just using my root users username and password. I use it okay go to sorry cat etc slash red hat really see I can able to see my operating system is red hat linux 7.3 beta okay you can use uh, you name also hyphen a to check it your linux operating system but uh, it won't show uh, which uh, version you are using it will just show the linux operating system it is okay you can use this with this one to check your operating system okay first one is completed what is the second one let's check it mq user mqm and mqm group user should be created we will check uh, what is the user id i log in root user uh, I will check ID MQM. It's not there. Okay. To create users, you can use uh, user add. Okay. Uh, group add also, but I'm not going to create here because in real time we need to request the Linux team to create MQM user and MQM group. But here, why I'm not creating means while installing time, these users will create automatically. That's why I'm not creating. Next point, third point, file system slash var mqm slash op, sorry opt slash mqm. You will see, go to slash var. Is there any folder called uh, mqm? No. See, there is no directory. I will just you check another also mqm. See, no such directory. Here also, I am not creating this uh, file systems. Why? Because while installing time, these folders also will create automatically. 
you will see that one also okay next fourth point mq software dump need to copy this we need to copy manually it won't uh, be there let's check it slash dump directory the dump is not there i will use winscp to copy the software i already installed winscp you can also download from uh, uh, i need ip address i just config to find out ip address I already downloaded the dump. You can also download from IBM site. Okay, I'm using root user to copy root. I'm using root user password. Yes, click login. Yeah, where I am in, I'm just using backslash. I need to copy the temp directory. Here, uh, the dump is not there. This is my uh, desktop. Uh, the folder I have uh, copied is MQ software. I already there logged in there. I'm just this is the trial version MQ9. Linux trial version. I'm just copying from here to server. It is copying. It will take few minutes. Yeah, it's copied. Let's check it's copied or not. Yeah, now we can able to see this in Q9 trial version. I will uh, unzip that one. Okay, to unzip. Uh, hyphen x z v f i'm just using this whole command yeah it's it's unzipping yeah it's completed let's see yeah it's a um, folder mq server is created i just used the command is tar space hyphen x v z v f actually it's not a tar file it's a gun zip uh, zipped file uh, Ganjip actually, I just used uh, tar space hyphen if anything the tar also there inside that I just used complete command to uh, unzip. Okay, it's unzip. I'm just going inside the MQ server folder. There are a lot of RPM files are there. Um, which one we need to use? I will tell you, those are the some some of the files some rpm files need to install not for the alls what are those files i will tell you we have to make sure ids are created or not i am just checking id mqn no cd slash var slash mqn no why because we just extracted we have not yet installed To install before installing we have to use one command that is mq license acceptance here there is a file called mq license dot slash mq license we have to use hyphen accept otherwise uh, uh, it will throw an errors okay we have to use this These command we need to use with only root user. Just click on enter. Yeah, it's accepted. Agreement accepted. Now we need to install RPM package. Here we can see only certain packages. Those are MQ series runtime and MQ series server, MQ series JRA, MQ series Java, MQ series samples. These are the files we need to install it okay how how you will install rpm file rpm use the command rpm space hyphen i v h space mq cd runtime okay next uh, to to install uh, you can just install it it will install let's see one by one it's installing yeah it's completed next use the same command mq series next one what i said jre
yeah gre there is a uh, format like uh, there is an order is there we have to make sure runtime gre next java there here only just saw yeah thank you series java next in queue series sample we will use in queue series yeah sample here we already installed runtime okay i'm just here entering there is one more i guess thank you server actually thank you server also there yeah thank you series server yeah just install yeah it's completed here see mq series server then sample java jre it consider the order okay it's uh, now we will check the packages are installed all the packages are installed correctly or not clear the screen i'm just using the command rpm space hyphen i sorry hyphen qv space pipeline grip hyphen i space mq just enter see here these are the packages all the packages it is showing now it means it installed correctly now we will see the ids are created on us id space mq1 see the id is created group also created next cd space var slash mq1 yeah it's created cd space opt slash then qm it's created see okay. now we will see the uh, the mq is installed or not by using the command dsp mq word it is it will show the version oh what happened yeah why it came why it came we should use uh, root user to install this is also already completed we just use it root user to complete prerequisite is also complete we are successfully installed but when i am trying to use this command display the version of mq it is not displaying why because we have not set this mq as a primary why we need to set mq as a primary because you are whatever the commands you are using your operating system is not able to identify to set that we have to use one command simple command to set your primary mq as a primary here we have a file called set mq inst where this file is located we will go your opt slash mqm this is the default installation for your operating sorry mq software in software installed see this is here uh, you have a bin directory go to bin directory ls here you have set mq inst file search for it set where is the file is search ls space open atr space set mq inst yeah it's there yeah same mq inst the file is there dot slash set mq inst dot sh or you can use hyphen 
i hyphen p slash upt slash mq1 what is mean by hyphen i hyphen is in mean you are getting mq as your primary installation what is hyphen p p means path your mq installation path opt mqm just enter it now your installation is set as a primary now use the command dst mq ver see it is displaying now okay and also finally we will see we can able to log in with switch user with the uh, mqm now i am in root user i am just switching user as mqm let's use space hyphen mqm yeah it switched id see mqm user and mqm group now it switched to mqm why it is not asked password means we already in root user that's why it is not asking password if you are a, a some other user it will it should use username and username and password okay that's all for the session we will discuss in next class for further thank you for watching please subscribe